Hello everyone. As part of the revision series, we are taking now the chapter National Income and uh, we'll discuss the very important uh, questions as part of National Income, which uh, interlinking to various topics. The first question let us take is consider the following statements. GNP plays a crucial role in analyzing the balance of payment. So he, the question is about GNP here and uh, he's talking about the balance of payment. And the next one is GNP helps in understanding the financial transactions and trade imbalances. So he's also talking about the concept of trade. Next, very important is GNP is utilized for the cross-country comparisons. So he's talking about GNP is accepted as a global tool for making comparison of the growth rate of the country like India with other countries. So the question is about incorrect statement. So now let us take what is balance of payment and what is NFIA? So NFIA means net factor income from abroad. Net factor income from abroad. And how does it is impacting the balance of payment? Net factor income from abroad means some economic activity which is happening in other countries. Out of that economic activity, what is that income the country like India is receiving? For example, here you start up any manufacturing output. These manufacturing based company includes land, labor and capital. So all this land, labor, capital, this land, labor, capital put together will in make an economic activity. And out of these economic activity, the income which you are earning as in profits, etc. That if India, country like India receives, that is called as net factor income from abroad, NFIA. This is the first type of income which the country like India receives. And second type of income the country like India receives is the profits. That is shown as part of NFIA. Third type of income which the country like India receives is remittances. Remittances are something like a person who is involved in an economic activity in that country without you being involved. And if these remittances are being sent from one country to other country, like India, that also gets added into the balance of payment, but not into net factor income from abroad. Because remittances does not involve any economic activity by the individual who is in India. And net factor income from abroad involves economic activity of the person who stays in India, performs economic activity in other countries, gets income. So that should be considered as GNP is equal to GDP plus net factor income from abroad. So GDP definitely involves economic activity and NFIA definitely involves economic activity and remittances does not involve any economic activity. So that's the reason GNP or GDP does not include remittances. Then where does the remittances is been added? Still you receive remittances from other countries. So that will be considered as part of the India's balance of payment because any sort of income which you receive from other countries, that will be considered as a balance of payments. So balance of payment includes the transaction where a country like India will make with other countries, which includes the current account and the capital account. Capital account includes the liabilities, the asset making of a country with other country, like India is making in other country or other countries making with respect to India in terms of FDIs, in terms of FIIs, in terms of bonds, shares, etc., which India has released or some other country has released. This makes a capital account. And what does the current account? Instant transactions or non-liability things. For example, balance of trades, which includes the goods, balance of invisibles, which includes the services, banking transactions, financial transactions, etc. So that includes interest payments, that includes remittances, that includes NFIA, etc. So NFIA, remittances, interest payments, everything will be added as part of the current account, but not the capital account. This is called as BOP. So now here the relation is, does NFIA makes an impact on BOP? Definitely yes. NFIA makes an impact on BOP, that is it directly into its current account. So one is with economic activity, other one is without economic activity, but both of them are making transaction with respect to India that is being reflected into balance of payment. This is what you should understand very clearly. So NFIA makes an impact in BOP. NFIA is added as a component into GNP, which means NFIA is playing a dual role here. This is very, very important point. 
so nfia makes an impact in bop nfia is definitely related with respect to the trade and it is also impact in the gnp so gnp indirectly makes inclusion of bop trade and also a tool for cross country comparison how much it is making in china how much it is making in us so let us read the question again gnp plays a crucial role in analyzing the balance of payment i just explain it is true it is helps in understanding the financial transactions and the trade imbalances true and gnp is utilized for cross country comparison just now i have explained yes it does make so which of the following is incorrect all are correct so answer has to be B. now apart from that what makes in gnp so how does that you calculate gnp gnp is something which you have earned from other countries that means gnp what is the formula just now we have written the formula gnp is equal to gdp plus net factor income from abroad so this is domestic economic activity this is economic activity out of your territory put together is gnp so gnp role depends directly on gdp it rules also depends on nfi nfi makes a very greater impact on gnp so here there is an explanation which i have already given go through this explanation that will add if anything doubt you have you can still comment or share with me those uh, uh, questions then i can take those question directly thank you